Hi guys and welcome to the Brewmaster Monk Changes and Rework Guide for the um, Alpha on BFA. So like I did in my other tank videos, like I did in my um, my DK one and my Guardian Druid um, and DH. I'm going to be going through the survivability talents first and then the full damage build talents. So to just start with I'll be going through the talents and then just saying what I think is best. All of this is set to change, so it's not all going to be set in stone. Some things could be changed, some things could be taken out, so it's not to be taken to heart. So first you have Eye of the Tiger. Works as the same as it does in Legion. Not much change there. And so does Chi Burst. The first talent tree has just not been changed. So what I prefer is to take Chi Wave due to the fact that it's just going to be a bit of burst healing. Obviously with Chi Burst, you've got to channel it, and it just allows your stagger to get to allow you to get more stagger than you should and as you want like the main thing for monks is getting rid of that stagger as much as possible with your purifying brew and making sure you keep up iron skin brew at all times and just clearing it clearing it clearing it so you want to be able to have as much gcds up as possible and as much time up as possible to keep up your iron skins and keep purifying your um your stagger off so um yeah that's why you take that one and for your next one Celerity, Cheat Torpedo, or Tiger's Lust. I always take Cheat Torpedo here due to the fact that I can use it once, get speed buffs, do a bit of tanking, taunt, whatever, and then use another one, and I'm going to get the extra speed buff. So I'm just going to get more and more mobility out of Cheat Torpedo, and especially as a tank, if you want to be in the dungeon and keep up, keep ahead of everyone else so that no one ninja pulls, then Cheat Torpedo is going to be really, really good. So for your next talent tree, Black Ops. Black Ox Brew. Chug some Black Ops Brew, which instantly refills your energy and your iron skin and purifying brew charges gift of the mist gift of the ox has an as an up to 75 percent chance to trigger based on your missing health obviously as a brewmaster monk you're not going to be taking that much damage because it's obviously all going to be staggered out so gift of the mist is not that good and light brune and black ox brew light brune is just so so much better it reduces the cooldown of iron skin and purifying brew by three seconds and increases the number of charges you get much more use out of light brewing than black ox Especially because Black Ox has a wide 1.5 minute cooldown. You just want to always be using Light Brew. And that extra charge and the reduced cooldown just helps you so, so much. And it's just way mate, better than Black Ox Brew. Next one. Tanks always take the Summon Ox. Due to the fact that you can make a, you can make a macro. Which allows you to just instantly taunt your Black Ox statue. And it just helps everyone. Due to the fact you can start just, you know, just taunt everything. No one's going to be worried about what's happening. You just got aggro instantly and you're just not going to worry. So yeah, summon Black Ox statue. So next one, Healing Elixir, Damp and Harm, or Mystic Vitality. This one's really down for you, but I think Mystic Vitality is just always good for dungeons, baseline, and survivability. Due to the fact you're going to take magical damage no matter what. Or if you know a fight really, really well and you know you're not going to take magic damage, obviously Damp and Harm is going to be much, much better and you're going to get much more use out of it. Instead of Mystic Vitality, but as a baseline for most dungeons, you're going to be taking magic damage. So you want to make sure Mystic you've got Mystic Vitality. Next one, Invoke Nizal, the Black Ox, which is a new spell. Summons an Effigy of Nizal, the Black Ox, which taunts your primary target and it does frequent damage. This is basically like a cat Windwalkers get, but it's obviously taunting and doing big damage now. Rushing Jade Wind, obviously just useless. You don't really ever want that. It's just, yeah, not really good. And especially, yeah. Next, Special Delivery. This was one of the artifact um, talents for for uh, brewmasters and now they bring it as a uh, talent and obviously now you can see it's a hundred percent so I always like taking this due to the fact that I'm going to be using I'm going to be mainly using all my brews all the time so I just want to be make sure I'm using that because you know I'm going to be using as much brews as possible getting rid of my um, getting rid of my stagger so next is elusive dance black ox combo and high tolerance high tolerance stagger deals Delays an additional 10% of income damage and you gain up to 15% haste based on your current level of stagger. Black Ox Black Out Combo. This works the same as it does in um as it does in Legion. And Elusive Dance, which works the same as it does in Legion. I always take high tolerance due to the fact it just delays more damage on stagger, and stagger is just your main. It's just, it's just the roots of a um of a brewmaster. So for people who don't know the lowdown on Brewmaster, basically what you want to do is when you're taking damage, you're going to get your stagger bar going up. So that's the amount of damage you're going to be delayed. So the way you do it as a brewmaster is keep iron skin brew up at all times. Due to the fact that it's going to increase your stagger amount, 
It doesn't stack, so you just want to make sure you're keeping this up. And obviously, I'm not getting auto attack, but if you were in a um, in a dungeon or a raid, you're going to be getting auto attacks. And with with um, purifying brew, this is going to clear your stagger, so that you you're allowed to take even more damage. And there's going to be a color which is coming up. Um, it's going to be green, yellow, and red. Red is you that you've got a lot, a lot of stagger, and you're in danger of dying and taking so, so much damage. Yellow's fine, and green's obviously good, and obviously with none, I'm not taking any damage. But obviously, when you've got stagger, you're going to be taking damage over time, and it, you just eliminate this damage with purifying and iron skin. And just using your filler spells, because obviously, every time you use a keg and tiger farm and blackouts, and um, so every time you use... Tiger's Palm and Keg Smash, you're going to be reducing the cooldown on Iron Skin and Purifying. That's why that um, that Black Ox Brute isn't that good. Because it's not as if you're going to um, like run out of these brews. It's just the fact that with that extra charge, you can keep them up at all times. So you can always keep up Iron Skin and you can always keep, keep Purifying. So that is why that is taken. So now I'll go into the damage for um, Brewmasters. So if I just break combat quickly, and I'll go into what I choose for damage. Let's quickly that. So Chi Burst for the um, for the damage due to the fact that when you pull big, you use Chi Burst, it's going to damage all them enemies and heal you and your group. So obviously that's just really good for damage. You're going to hit all the targets with that and deal really, really big damage. Next, it's down to you again. I take Chi Torpedo just so I'm in front of the pack. And just, yeah. Um, next, you want to be taking um, Light Brewing due to the fact that you're going to still be using your Purifying and your Iron Skin to just get rid of that stagger. Because you're going to be using that baseline, so you always really want to be taking Light Brewing all the time. Because it's just really, really good. Next, some Black Ox Statue again, just so you can keep the ads taunted. Taunt the Black Ox Statue and everything's taunted in the area, which is just really, really good. Next, you it's down to you again. Obviously, if it's not magical damage, you want to take deep and harm. But if there's some magical attacks, you want to take mystic vitality. The next, it's really down to you. But I think special delivery is just really, really, really good. Due to the fact that the keg is going to land in the air, deal 500 damage to all the enemies within 8 yards. And reduce their movement speed by 50%. And because you're going to be spamming, purifying, and iron skin, you're just going to keep throwing out kegs on the target, slowing them and just hitting them hard. So this means that as a brewmaster you can kind of kite and that you can taunt all your enemies and they're following you and you can just start chugging, chugging your brews from far away and your kegs will land on their face, slow them and keep up your threat. So this is really, really good just all round for the whole group. So that's why special delivery. Um, and your next one, I always like taking blackout combo due to the fact it's just going to increase your damage. So for example, Tiger Palm. Um, blackout Strike also empowers your next ability. So when I use Blackout Strike, so when I use my Tiger's Palm, as you can see, damage increased by 100%. Breath of Fire, the cooldown is going to be reduced, so I can hit all the adds with that. Um, Kick Smash reduces the remaining cooldown of your next two brews by two additional seconds. Iron Skin Brew pauses the stagger, and Purifying Brew grants you a stack of Elusive Brawler. So obviously you just want to take Blackout Combo, and especially tying it in with your um, Tiger's Palm. So you want to be using your Blackout Strike, then your Tiger's Palm, just so you get that 100% increased damage. And yeah. And especially if you want to use your Blackout Strike, if there's a lot of ads, you want to be using your Blackout Strike on your Breath of Fire, just so it has that reduced cooldown, so you can get it back up to hit all the targets. So yeah, that's basically it for um, Brewmaster, Brewmaster Monks. They're looking pretty strong. There's the change, especially with your... Um, so light brewing, you're going to be able to clear your stagger much more quickly and be much more efficient with that. So it's looking good for brewmasters, and they probably won't be a meme now in BFA. But yeah, all this is set to change. Like and subscribe if you want to see more guides, and comment if I could change anything, and I'll try and reply to everyone. Anyway, see you in the next one.